Hello and welcome back to another video here on Film Zone. James Cameron is undoubtedly one of the best modern filmmakers we have today. Even though he doesn't have a string of blockbusters under his belt, the few films he has directed have become icons which made Cameron a household name. James Cameron has worked on several movies throughout his time in Hollywood. However, while several movies seemed like they'd be the next Cameron box office juggernaut, they failed to materialize. Such prospective projects range wildly from proposed versions of summer blockbusters audiences got to see from other filmmakers, to adaptations of major pieces of literature, and even some original concepts that Cameron, in theory, could have spun into gold. So, which movies fail to be the next icon by James Cameron? Let's find out in this video. The Crowded Room First up on this list, we have a popular book rather than a movie. Every day, people get acquitted of crimes for a multitude of reasons. However, Billy Milligan made history by being declared innocent after claiming insanity due to his multiple personality disorder. This inspired the book The Crowded Room that Hollywood has been trying to adapt for decades. Among those who try their hand at bringing this tale to the silver screen, James Cameron. The filmmaker purchased the rights to this book in the early 1990s, shortly after Terminator 2 Judgment Day took his career to a whole new level of acclaim and box office success. John Cusack was set to star in this version, marking the actor's first time working with Cameron. This would have been the most grounded project yet for Cameron at this point in his career. With his directorial efforts at this juncture, focusing on underwater alien spacecraft and killer robots from the future, rather than real people grappling with mental health conditions. However, the crowded room never got off the ground due to legal wrangling between Cameron, 20th Century Fox, and the producer who held the rights. Since then, there have been multiple other attempts to turn this man's life into a feature, including one that was set to star Leonardo DiCaprio. The most recent of these attempts has taken this tale to the small screen in the form of a proposed Apple TV Plus series starring Tom Holland. Only time will tell if Holland has more luck in Cameron in cracking this adaptation. Terminator 3 After directing the first two movies in the Terminator series, Cameron had started writing a screenplay for Terminator 3. Despite previous reports that he had no interest in doing further installments in the series, the man behind the Terminator franchise was back in the game, and the original cast members like Arnold Schwarzenegger were intrigued about returning as well. Unfortunately, Complications in the form of legal issues surrounding the sequel rights to Terminator movies would forever shelve the project. The rights went up for sale when the production company Carol Co. went bankrupt. Cameron initially pursued them with 20th Century Fox. On paper, it sounded like a perfect project to fit into Cameron's long-term studio contract with Fox. But by October 1997, these plans were scuttled once it became clear that the combined cost of acquiring the rights and then financing a third Terminator blockbuster would be exorbitantly expensive. With this development, Cameron walked away from Terminator 3. Though this project would eventually find its way to theaters as Terminator 3 – Rise of the Machines, directed by Jonathan Musto, moviegoers would never again see a Terminator title helmed by James Cameron although he later got the rights back and produced 2019's Terminator – Dark Fate. Jurassic Park Today, the film Jurassic Park is intimately linked to Steven Spielberg. His control of both wonder and terror made him the ideal artist to bring to life a story about a dinosaur-themed park that goes horribly haywire. However, when the Jurassic Park property was still a Michael Crichton novel, it was anybody's guess who could direct it. According to the book The Making of Jurassic Park, several studios and notable filmmakers threw their hats into the ring to score the film rights to this text, including Joe Dante and Richard Donner, two men with plenty of experience in helming blockbusters. James Cameron once revealed to HuffPost in 2012 that he was so taken by the story of Jurassic Park that he pursued the film rights himself when they went up for sale. It's no surprise Cameron would find Jurassic Park up his alley, given his love for science and horror-tinged storytelling. Cameron's version would have taken the central Jurassic Park premise to the extreme by being heavy on violence and aimed at older viewers. Spielberg eventually snatched up the rights instead, with the man behind Raiders of the Lost Ark beating Cameron to the punch by a few hours. 
Apparently, there were no hard feelings, with Cameron having nothing but positive remarks for Spielberg's Jurassic Park and even claiming that the latter's all-ages approach to the adaptation was the correct way to go. True Lies 2 It may not be quite as famous as Titanic or The Terminator, but James Cameron's action comedy True Lies was a big hit in its original 1994 release. Arnold Schwarzenegger was an unstoppable box office titan at the time, and reuniting him with the director behind the two Terminator projects proved to be catnip for audiences. It proved so popular that, in standard Hollywood fashion, a follow-up was developed in the term of True Lies 2. This production had a whole script written and garnered the interest of principal actors from the original film, including Schwarzenegger, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Tom Arnold. As late as March 2001, Schwarzenegger was talking to IGN about the quality of the screenplay and expressing excitement over the prospect of working with actors like Curtis again. However, some key obstacles kept it from ever happening. For one thing, Cameron's plate got extremely full as a director in the 21st century, as he prepared to launch Avatar. For another, the political climate after 9-11 also engineered unintended parallels between the horrors of reality and the light-hearted entertainment of True Lies 2. Most notably, Schwarzenegger revealed in 2003 that one sad piece in True Lies 2 involved a skirmish on an airplane that ended with the aircraft falling to the ground. It was therefore obvious the movie was going to have several problems, and it ended up not happening in the end. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.